So now we're going to do the regulators, and uh, we'll do the ASA too as while we're at it. Um, first thing you want to do is uh, is to remove uh, the macro lines. So uh, on, on the macro line fittings, uh, for those of you who don't know, you have a collar right here, and you just push the collar down, and you have the macro line to pull out. And uh, same thing on the other side, but there's no need to do this side. Just uh, you just have to remove one of them. Uh, so we'll start with the ASA. Uh, the SA is actually very important to keep clean. If you get a lot of dirt in there, um, you know it's it's going to make its way down down and through the macro line into your regulator and into your gun, and it's it's just uh, it's, it's just going to require more maintenance. And it's a good thing to keep this clean. So just uh, put some paper towel in there. Y use some use some force. You, you know use some uh, use some elbow grease. Clean out the threads. Clean the inside. And as you can see, there's uh, there's a lot of a lot of dirt in there. Quite a bit, anyways. I keep mine rather clean, so there's not too much, but, you know, and uh, this is where, uh, if you have Q-tips, you can just go over it again, but, uh, I mean, we got it pretty clean. Uh, and then as for the threads, uh, for any threads, it's not a bad idea just to put uh, a couple drops of oil, just rub it into the threads like that. So it's, next time you screw the tank in, it's just going to... Just gonna screw right in really well, uh, and we'll move on now to the LPR. Uh, the LPR it just uh, just comes right off with your with right off with your hands. Just turn it uh, just turn it to the left. And as soon as you get it, just flip it right just down like that. That way you don't lose any of the springs or anything in there. So now you have uh, this part where the uh, the LPR threads on uh, onto the body. Again, I just like to clean off the threads, clean it, and then you got where the uh, the air actually goes into this uh, into this hole here. I know the names for all these parts, but I just I just want to make this uh, video easy. So anybody who doesn't think I know how to name these things, I do. Um, uh, to get uh, to get this out, uh, the uh, the parts in the LPR, I just want a, a dental pick is great, and uh, you can just pull out the. Uh, at the piston, and there we are. So now we have it. Uh, you want you always want to keep the uh, the springs on the right side. So the spring that uh, that we have on this, just uh, put it down, just like that. And then the other spring. Simple as that. So now we. Uh, that's it. That's all the LPR is. It's just a piston and two springs. It's very, very simple. I know a lot of people that are very uh, intimidated uh, when it comes to uh, uh, when it comes to regulars. Regulars are actually very, very simple. They're just about as simple as uh, as the ram or the bolt. So, you just want to clean this out. Just poke some paper towel in there as far as it goes. Just give it a twist, and there we go. Clean off the threads on the inside, and that's the inside of the uh, the LPR. The spring, again, just just wipe it down. Just get all the dirt and all the oil off it, and you just want to put it, just drop it right back in uh, the first part, anyways. And then you got uh, you got the piston, and then you got the uh, the back spring. So just take the back spring off, wipe wipe down the piston. This is where the majority of the dirt and uh, the old uh, old grease is going to be. Just want to clean that. Now, uh, for uh, for the um, the regulators, this is the only part that uh, that you use uh, a, a grease. Uh, a dial 33 is what I use. Uh, you're not to use any grease anywhere else in the gun. It's the grease is just for the LPR and the HPR. For the ram and the uh, the bolt, uh, just oil. Only oil. Only use oil. Don't use any grease. Uh, you're going to cause yourself some problems if you use grease. You can gum up the um, the QEVs. You have to take those apart, clean them, or in some cases even replace them. So uh, the grease is only for the ram, or uh, the regulars rather. And just got to open this. So as I said, I use Dow 33. Uh, you can use you can use any of the, the, the hater sauce or that uh, that lurker lube or whatever, but uh, Dow 33 is the cheapest and it, uh, it works. It works fine. Works great. So just put some uh, just. I almost use too much. You just want to use a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Like, as you can see, like, just a very, very small amount. 
and just rub it into the O-ring. Whatever you have left, you can just rub it off on here. And you put the spring back on. Now this spring, I'm sure you guys remember when I took it apart, this spring is facing uh, out. So you guys can see that it goes just back in like that. And there we go, that's, uh, that's the up here is cleaned and lubricated. And uh, again, it doesn't hurt to put a drop of oil on the threads. Now to, to thread it back on, you have to you have to push, and uh, never 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 force anything. Like you're pushing down, but you're not forcing it to thread on. Just give it a push down so the springs can compress, and then you just uh, you just thread it on. If you feel like it's not threading and it's 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 ripping or it's stripping, stop right away. That's <laughs> you don't want to strip that. That's uh, that's bad news. So there we go, and this just just hand tight. Now we'll move on to the HPR. Uh, you can, you can. Uh, there's two ways you can do it. You can, you can unscrew it from the top, which uh, mine's really tight and I don't have a strap wrench, so I'm just going to do it from the bottom. But you can do it either way to take it apart. You can take it off from the top, or you can just take it off uh, from here. It doesn't really matter. Now with uh, Ego five, six, or sevens, uh, as well as the uh, uh, the, the original E Tech. Uh, especially, you you, you want to do it this way because those regulators use shims. Uh, the the E-Tech 2, the Ego 8, and up, uh, they, they have a spring, so it's not as big of a deal, but uh, you don't want to be spilling shims everywhere. That's that's really the only difference uh, as far as regulators uh, and uh, the new Egos and the old Egos is uh, the Ego 7 and down, as well as the E-Tech 1 and, uh, uses uh, shims, and uh, the new ones use a spring. So, we got the bottom off. And uh, very, very similar to the LPR, just use a, uh, a dental pick and you can just uh, pull this out. So there we go, that's uh, that's pretty much all there is to the HPR. Um, it, it's a real pain to take these shims off and put them back on, so generally, generally I don't. If, you, uh, if you're lucky enough to own an Ego 8 or an E-Tech 2 or, or anything above that, it's, uh, it's real simple, it's just one spring comes right off, you can clean it off, but the shims are a real pain, so I, I generally avoid taking them off, uh, you know. And for people that are wondering who have the shims, if they do fall off, there are 16 of them, and uh, as you guys can see, they, they have a, like a bowl shape, like a cup shape. The first one that goes on is uh, the cup is facing, uh, is facing up, like towards the inside of the gun, and then they go... Uh, then I'll just kind of show you with my hand. So the first one kind of goes onto the shim, uh, onto the piston like that. Then the next one goes like this. The next one goes like that, and then it just continues down like that. And then the bottom one, the cup is facing the bottom. So if if that made any sense to you guys, I hope it did. But if it didn't, uh, it's pretty easy to find some diagrams online. But uh, as I said, they're they're bowl shaped. Uh, the first bowl one's facing this way. Then they kind of face into each other, you know, to the back, and then the the bottom one is facing down. Uh, so there we go. Uh, we've cleaned off the. Uh, I'll just give it another one, anyways. Clean off all the old lubricant. Put some new stuff on. Again, just a very small amount. You don't need a lot. And uh, there we go. The O-ring is all lubricated. And uh, the top part is going to face like that. And you got the, the hole here where the air comes in. Just give that a quick clean. Just get any dirt in there. Uh, you can take this all apart, but uh, we, we won't get into that. It's not, it's not really necessary. And again, just a drop of oil on the threads. And this thread's right back on. Put the, uh, the macro line. Just put it back in, give it a tug so the collar grabs it, and uh, that's it. That's it for the regulars. That's uh, that's your basic maintenance for any, go, uh, any of the egos. And I uh, hope you guys learned something from that.